All right. Uh, happy uh, 2019 um, to everyone. Uh, this is uh, Brother Samuel. And before me, I have, you know, some literature. Um, and uh, this video is about basically anxiety um, or being anxious about the times and what we're dealing with here in the United States um, of America um, under the presidency of um, Donald Trump. Um, one thing that I see, I'm seeing a lot of on my Facebook page is people um, talking about the partial government shutdown. And uh, I know how it feels to have government benefits and depend on government subsidies and stuff like that. Um, but, um, you know, some people, this is their lifestyle. This is something that this is their living conditions. And, you know, this is something they've been through. So I understand. So I understand how somebody could be worried and anxious about the fact that, you know, the president has made the decision to partially shut down the government uh, to support the building of a over billion dollar um, border wall um, to uh, Mexico. But um, I want to explain that the reason why uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, and why so many spiritual teachers and prophets talked about fear is because fear uh, falls under um, hate, fear falls under stress, Fears, fear disrupts your faith and it, it disrupts your connection to your higher self and to um, the powers that be that govern um, the the galaxy that we're in. So when you are in constant fear um, of what somebody else is doing, you're really not trusting your God, your God given abilities. You're basically trusting in a man or a woman to dictate your life when they don't dictate your life. So I'm just going to read over these books and um, just to give y'all some, some, just some helpful tips and for one, I'm going to start with the Aquarian Gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, like I stated on other videos, this is a good book to read, but I'm also going to read from the Bible. This is the New International Version. You can read the King James Version. And also I'm going to be reading from the Six Laws, the 66 Laws of the Illuminati, which you've already seen me talk about before. So let's let me just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Aquarian Gospel first. And um, the first chapter that I'm going to read from or the chapter that I'm going to read from and um, is going to be um, the 136th chapter. <clears throat> and it's basically talking about a conversation that <clears throat> that Jesus had with Martha Um you know, once again, I apologize if you can't see it, um, but let me see if I can get the focus going for you. Let's see. There we go. All right. So let's start at, like I said, chapter 136. You can read it for yourself in the Aquarian Gospel. It's on page 178, <coughs> 173, excuse me, 173. But well, starting on page 174, at, starting at verse 17. And Jesus said, go on your way and likewise do, and you shall live. Um, and if you read the prior um, chapter, prior verses, you'll see why he, why he stated that. But let me start at verse number 18. Now, Jesus, Peter, James, and John went out to Bethany, where Lazarus lived. And Mary sat at Jesus' feet and heard him speak the words of life while Martha served. And Martha called for Mary, 
Martha, and Martha called, but Mary would not leave the Lord to help her serve. And Martha said to Jesus, do you not care that Mary makes me bear the burdens of serving all of the day? I beg that you will bid her help. And Jesus said, you, you are too anxious, Martha, for your guests. You need not trouble so much about the things of life. You grow a weary by your care for little things and slight the one thing needed most of all. Your sister has chosen for the better part, a part that none can take away. All right. So now let's go to the Bible and let's go to Luke. Get this focus together. <laughs> and let's go to Luke, the 10th chapter, starting at the 36th verse. Once again, I apologize for my, my, my focus on my phone. But I'm giving you the verses in the chapter in the book. So Luke, the 10th chapter, starting at the 38th verse. And Jesus said, excuse me, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparation that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken from her. All right. Now, let's go to the 66 Laws of the Illuminati. And I opened up, I just opened this up and went straight to this. And I thought this was a good chapter, um, a good book to write from, a book, good book to read, a, a good law to learn from. And this is law number 39. And there's no, there's no pages in this book. It's just laws. But it says, do not be afraid or don't be afraid to go. Do not. Excuse me. Don't be afraid to go. Don't be af don't be afraid to go the desert road alone. Travel lightly. All right. Lesson 39. Sometimes you have to travel alone. And it gives a Bible verse, Acts chapter 8, verse 13 through 40. Do not be afraid to set out on the path of your light. And success alone. Sometimes you have to leave home in order to seek success. And along the way, you will discover many things about yourself. Be independent and self-sufficient, but do not be afraid to ask for help if needed. There is a reason the milk from your mother's breast only lasts for a limited period. Travel lightly, walk toward the light and with a little emotional and physical Baggage as possible. Let me read that last verse again. Travel lightly. Walk towards the light, and with a and with as little emotional and physical baggage as possible. All right. And that's law number thirty-nine. So. Okay. So So sometimes what I'm realizing is that everybody's all anxious, you know, about the things of life and the needs of life when your focus should be on more eternal things. Um see, we all have a soul. And we are a spirit also, but we have a body. And when 
down here on Earth, we spend a mostly entirely all our days concerning about this body, but we're not concerned at all about our spirit or our soul. And this is basically what Jesus was telling uh, Martha, like Martha, you 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 are too concerned about these things. You're distracted by these things. You're distracted about preparing for me to be here to talk with you and to discuss with you and, and build with you. You're more concerned about the the pleasantries and, you know, how nice the place is and if the food is good and if the wine is cold and all this other stuff or whatever, you know, it, instead of enjoying my time with you and learning from me, you know, I'm a master teacher and, and I'm going to teach you spiritual things about life, which you're not going to find in the streets. You're not going to find it at your job. You're not going to find it on the corner. You're not going to find it even in conversation. So when you on Facebook and all you do is worry about what President Trump is doing or worrying about what this person doing or that country is doing, you're not paying attention to what's concerning about your spirit and what's concerning about your soul. You're worrying about the little things, your body. Now, Jesus had already given you Bible verses about your body and how God will make sure you're taken care of because God provides for the whole planet. Birds go out here. Birds don't worry about, you know, if they're going to find water to wash in. They don't worry about if they're going to be able to find food. You can look at a cat, a domestic cat, a domestic cat. Do not wake up and say, well, where am I going to eat? Is my master going to feed me today? No, that cat goes outside and finds something to eat because that's where it's at. So I don't know why some people will allow themselves to go without because of Donald Trump. But you're being distracted by the little things. If you are not going to get government assistance or it's going to be cut off for a little while, then it's going to have to be cut off. But that don't mean you go hungry because God has already provided for you. God has already provided for me. So why are we sitting here talking about, oh, I'm not going to eat because of Donald Trump. I'm going to go homeless because Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not going to cause you to be homeless. You're going to cause you to be homeless. You're going to cause you to be without food. You're going to spend all your energy worrying about what Donald Trump doing and what you doing? Well, Donald Trump got um, illegal immigrants in his in his workplace, but those illegal immigrants work there. They work there. I guarantee they ain't gonna go hungry. I guarantee they won't go without a place to stay. They're not gonna do that. Now, if you read further into the Aquarian Gospel chapter that I gave you which is chapter 136. If you read the, if you read the whole chapter 136 on page 178, you're going to learn that you're going you're gonna to read about this conversation that this lawyer had with Jesus and Jesus was explaining to him what it meant to get eternal life and what it meant to be a, a, a good neighbor and who your neighbor is. So right now you may say, well, Donald Trump is not being a good American citizen and neighbor because he's not looking out for the American public. You can't worry about that. This, this may be a time for you to seek God and trust God and allow God to provide your needs that God provides anyway. Donald Trump don't provide your needs. I'm not trying to preach, but it, it just the things is the thing is is that sometimes we we allow the little things to consume us from what's more important. You're gonna eat, you're gonna have a place to stay. Don't worry about it so much. Do what you can, trust God, accept help, release that 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 emotional baggage and release that physical baggage. One love, peace.